bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for women with a curvy figure, finding the dress can be a nightmare. I look like a sack of spuds. If she doesn't look like a hippo, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, if the bra comes off, they're a trip hazard. Now help is at hand. Deep in the Essex countryside is Britain's most exclusive plus-sized boutique. Step into my office and let's get naked. Oh, I didn't mean us get naked, I meant you get <laughs> naked. Where best friends Joe Cook and Al Law have all the attitude. Why do you want people focusing there when you've got that to look at? The experience. We're all in the same boat. Me, Joe, you. And the determination to get even the most body conscious bride walking blissfully down the aisle. Just because you're a big girl does not mean that you have to accept second best ever. This time. I went to Atlanta in 96. A former Paralympian renewing her vows. Oh my God, we're in front of two celebrities, Jo. Oh <laughs> I'm absolutely in awe. Jo and Al need to pull out all the stops to find a dress that's not just pretty, but practical. I'm feeling very nervous. Will a dress sit properly in my power chair? And... I'm looking to be a princess with my English Prince Charming. This American bride has high hopes for her big day. But can Jo and Al give her the fairy tale wedding she's always wanted? She's been thinking about this since she was a child. Oh, hello. And a bride's mum who's worked all hours to pay for her daughter's dream dress. Beautiful. <laughs> but come the wedding day, will the bride's alterations ruin everything? Didn't really go to plan. I was hoping that these would be a bit more stiff. As it is at the moment, it looks to be blunt, ridiculous. Size 24 Kia is en route with Mum Kathleen and Sister Cassie, who've travelled over 4,000 miles from Atlanta, Georgia, just for this appointment. Can you believe we're on our way? We're almost there. Well, finally. <laughs> Are you guys jet lagged? <laughs> Are you jet lagged a little bit? A little bit. After a whirlwind romance, Kia and her English fiancé, Ryan, tie the knot in 12 months' time. When I first moved here, I had no intention of falling in love. I knew within 24 hours that he was the one I wanted to marry. Kind of a fairy tale beginning in terms of actually finding the man of your dreams. So I'm grateful that I have found mine. Hello, Kia! Hi. Hello! How are you? Hello. Hello, ladies! So, Kia, tell me, is the wedding here or is it in America? We're doing a proper English wedding, doing a castle in, in Surrey, so I'm looking to be a princess with my English Prince Charming. So it's, it's kind of the American dream, but English style, if you will. Wow. So we have people that have travelled a very, very long way to come and see us today. So the pressure's on massively. I hope we don't disappoint. So, tell me what your ideal dress is. Definitely something that's a little more form-fitting on the top. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much my smallest area. Yeah. Kind of covering up the lower half because that's the part I hate. I, I definitely want to be like You want to bring the drama. the drama. Absolutely, absolutely. Bring wow. the drama. That's the theme. She's young, she's fun, she's flirty, she's gorgeous. She's very on trend. That's what her dress needs to be. This is all very fluid oh, and honey. floaty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is amazing. You didn't come all the way over from Atlanta, Georgia. To just sit there, you need to come and help and see whatever it is that you like. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Don't get to pull them out so you can get a better view of it. Oh, <laughs> get to work, honey. <laughs> I like this one. That is like total princess. Oh, I say, Kia, you've got some beautiful dresses. I know, I agree. Come with me. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yay! When she was young, that's what she talked about, wanting to be a princess, wanting to have a fairy tale. She's always wanted it, but I don't think that she ever thought she would find it. Ryan is the kind of person he walks into the room and his smile just, oh my gosh, you made me cry. Oh. I can't tell you how lucky I am. And I totally thought that I was never going to Meet a man who would love me the way that he loves me, and, and not just me, but all of me. I think my whole life I've struggled with this really strange idea that I'm not good enough, and have someone tell me that they 
choose me out of everyone. It's something that I've, I've uh, never felt. And it's something that I, I've been scared of, I think, my whole life. Right. So all together, open your eyes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm loving this skirt. I actually like the shape. I think there's just something about the appliques that are look, make, it's just not, I don't think it's the one. This is not trendy enough. That's, you've got it. You're, that's exactly it. This is the next royal one. We so it has it. to be something yes. a little bit special. Move over, Megan. You know. <laughs> Let's do another. Kia wants to be the princess on her wedding day. She's been thinking about this since she was a child. Oh, hello. So let's go all out, let's make her feel like the princess. Open your eyes and look straight ahead. <laughs> OK, and ladies, you can open your eyes now. Wow. I'm going to pee my pants. Not in that dress. <laughs> Right, I just can't believe that I'm actually in a dress like this. I just never imagined myself. I feel so pretty. Oh, I feel so pretty. Honestly, could never believe that I could wear something that beautiful. I was just in shock. I felt, oh my gosh, who is that girl? She's stunning. She looks like a princess. And I just felt so glamorous. Mum, you're all emosh. Oh. She was so radiant. And when you see that glow, then you know. It was the look in her eye. It was the fact that she felt so special. This is it. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel absolutely beautiful. She never thought she could have a dress like that, let alone have one and look how she looked. This girl should be on the pages of a bridal magazine showing all the other girls out there, do you know what, you don't have to be a wife, because, hey, look at this. Bride-to-be Laura is a size 18. She found her dress eight months ago and has brought friend Di and mum Vicky for her final fitting. I came with my mum to buy the dress. She is my absolute world. If she has the same reaction she had first time, then that's great, and that's what I'm wanting. Laura moved from Newcastle to London when she fell for her fiancé, Ahmet. The couple are due to marry in five months. She's funny. She's beautiful. She's like living with my best friend. Aww. So funny, like it said to us when we were first started speaking, just so you know, like it's only ever going to be casual because I, c I can't um, do a long distance relationship. <laughs> so that ended well, didn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Do you remember it, the dress? Yeah, I love it. Remember the neckline was um, mesh and yeah. I wanted it sweetheart. And so... you're kind of going to make the decision today. <laughs> Kind of. The dress that Laura's got has got a mesh panel. She was unsure whether or not she liked it, but I think that that dress would lose the beauty if it didn't have the modern neckline and the, the lace that sits against the body and goes upwards. You haven't seen the dress at no. all? Oh, not my God. <laughs> so I've got to tell her whether I like the mesh or not. Yeah, she's like the decider. <laughs> right, that's, no, but that's good. Yeah, I like that's the good. Mesh. I like it the way it is. The first time we came, while she was in the changing room, I was having a look around and spotted this dress. She was like, no, it's out of budget. And I said, no, do we just, can we just try it on? She walked out and that was it. I said, doesn't matter how much it costs, it was just amazing. As soon as she put it on, we both cried. It was, it was just beautiful. OK, let's try not to get no makeup on it. My mum, bless her, has worked all the hours under the sun like 5am starts, late night finishes, and um, to just get as much money as she can, because she's paying for the dress. Follow me. She's a single parent, and she's always done her utmost to get me and my brother everything, so this is just another thing that she's selflessly give for us. Right, OK, are we ready, everyone? Mm-hmm. Yep. Open your eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Mum, you're proper sobbing. <laughs> my mum and Di's reaction just confirmed that it was a million percent the right dress. OK, so let's talk alterations. Yeah. 
So looking at this dress right now, do you want to change it? Um, I still don't know. What do you think? No. I love the neckline. So we have had quite a few heated discussions over the dress and I'm hoping and she goes, she swings my way and, and leaves the mesh on. It's, it's, it's a beautiful dress. It doesn't need altering at all. I honestly don't think how you're going to get that detail to stay. Yeah. You wouldn't. That no. would have to go. It would have and to that, come right down. Yeah, so, and yeah. I, I think it would be a real shame to lose that. If you lost the mesh, you lose the integrity of the dress. This makes it that little bit more special, that bit more modern. You couldn't just have that lace because it would just be a flimsy bit of lace. I think you'd need a little bit of support yeah. on this day, and I think that me and Jo could possibly be the ones to support you in yeah, the morning. I love that. Obviously, appreciate everyone's opinion, Jo and Alison's opinion, but still going to have to think about it. Coming up. Because it's a wedding renewal. Yes. I'm looking for something maybe champagne type oh, colours. Yeah. I like my bling. A former Paralympian after a show stopping dress. But will Joe and Al be able to deliver? Tell me, how's this feeling? Is it comfortable? No. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so not only have we got to find her a dress that's got all the bling she needs, we've got to work with her and her wheelchair as well. And? I'm feeling slightly anxious now. Didn't really go to plan. Bride Laura goes against Joe's advice and alters the dress her mum paid for. Have you been a bit tearful over it? Yeah. Mum's nodding, yeah. Yeah. But can they fix her frock in time for her big Turkish wedding? Maybe just cut this little bit to start with. So I right, deep breathe. <laughs> Size 28, Zoe isn't a big fan of dress shopping at the best of times, so she's hoping today will change that. She's brought friend Sally along for moral support. Are you worried in case you don't find a dress? I am, because you know how finicky I am. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm nervous when I buy dresses is my disability and how I actually look in a dress. I have to buy off the peg and then take it home and try it on. Zoe will be renewing her wedding vows to husband Andy in nine months' time. When Andy and I first got married, we were in a high street shop and the shop assistant said, I didn't realise that disabled people could get married. So I said, yeah and we have good sex as well. And she packed so quickly, obviously just to get rid of us. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? How are you? Thank you. So how did you two meet? Well, we're both ex-Paralympic athletes. Oh, really? oh my God, we're in front of two celebrities, Jo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I went to Atlanta in 96. I did Athens and Beijing. The women's basketball team. Oh hey my up. God. It's one for you. So yeah, basketball <laughs> fanatic, director of the basketball club and all the rest of it. My passion is wedding dresses closely followed by basketball. I am absolutely in awe. She's a superstar. She's a Paralympian. So for me, it's so important she goes away with a dress. You know, I'd move heaven and earth to make sure we got her a dress today. So tell me, Zoe, what sort of thing are you looking for? Because it's a wedding renewal. Yes. I'm looking for something maybe champagne bright mm. colours. I like my bling. Good girl. I'm feeling very nervous and anxious. Will a dress sit properly in my power chair? I have to be mindful of how things fit on me, but I just want something a little bit different so that it has a wow factor. It's got the bling drawing the attention here. Yeah. It's light and it's airy and it's yeah. floaty. Mm -hmm. Is Twinkled. that back really, really low? It is quite low. Well, Zoe and I have looked at dresses in, in shops uh, quite a bit, but obviously trying things on is quite difficult. So today's appointment's quite important. The colour's really nice. So if we're talking colour... <laughs> this is a bit fabulous. Is this too dark as a colour? Is no, this... I, I do like the colour. 
So not only have we got to find her a dress today that's got all the bling she needs, that's got the colour, we've got to work with her and her wheelchair as well. The dress has to be practical. Put your arms through. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> right. What I'm going to ask you to do is just lean forward if you can. When Sally and I are out shopping, it can be quite comical. It's arms flinging everywhere, just trying clothes on. I'm going to start tightening the corset now, okay. Zoe. I'm not going to go too tight, obviously, because I need you to get comfortable in the chair after as well. OK. Tell me, how's this feeling? Is it comfortable? Yeah. No, sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. As soon as that dress went on, I could see it in her face. Yeah, I was going to say, if you maybe it. loosen there that. Is that uncomfortable or is that comfortable? Not more comfortable. No, it is still uncomfortable, I'm afraid. I think she couldn't wait to get that off. It just was not working for her at all. But we've now learned corsets are not an option. They're too structured, they're too restrictive. Right, OK, so same drill. Luckily, there was an oyster-coloured, floaty, really lightweight dress. Let's hope she likes it. This particular dress doesn't have as much internal corsetry as the other mm. one. So it's more relaxed. More, it doesn't yeah, have all that definitely. boning. Yeah. I'm guessing on the day, you're not going to want to do this tucking it under. You want it cut to a, yes. a length, ideally. Yes, and ideally to measure from the end of my stumps there yeah. to maybe around that point yeah. there. Andy and I have been married now for 18 years. The dress is very important to me because he needs to think, yeah, I'm, I'm remarrying this, this woman again and she actually looks like this. Ready? You ready for this? I am. Go for it. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> well, that's a reaction we like. I have to say, Zoe, you just look absolutely beautiful. Wow, the dress is amazing. It looks good on me. I think Andy's going to be really shocked. Oh, you're really good. So, what's your favourite oh, bit? Oh, Zoe! That's what we like. Happy tears. It's just perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> well, you are. Her face was just a picture and she just looked so comfortable in it and she just loved it. Zoe, is this your dress? I believe it is. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I am absolutely delighted she's going home with a dress today. Thank you. Oh. oh, I do like a happy ending. Me too. <laughs>
So what I'm thinking is maybe just cut this little bit to start with. I'm not a novice at taking scissors to wedding dresses. Should we tape it and see how it looks Can once I, it's yeah. secure? Because even when it's taped to your body, it might not live up to this expectation that you had of it when it was stiff and against your body. How is that? That's better, isn't it? Has this now given you the confidence? Yeah, I feel much better now. Yeah? Yeah, sorry, of relief. Mission accomplished. She's happy. She has the illusion. Mm -hmm. She has the sweetheart neckline. She is going to totally light up the room. I'm very excited. When I see her in the dress, I'm going to be very emotional. If I do feel a tear coming along, I've just got to give it a little wear. I'm quite nervous because there's about 230 people that I don't know. But my dress is beautiful, so hopefully they'll not look at me and they'll just look at the dress. <laughs> Repeat after me. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. You have made the declarations prescribed by law. I'm happy to pronounce you are now husband and wife. The dress looks absolutely amazing. I wouldn't change nothing about it. It looks perfect. Best day ever. Even though there's been a couple of hiccups along the way, Come together nicely. Yeah, it's been perfect. Nothing that won't change it. Yeah, nothing that, that we can't handle. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she looked confident. She looked amazing. She looked happy. Yeah. The dress is everything she wanted. She might have gone round the houses to get it. She's got it. Party time. Let's go have a drink. Yes. Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for women with a curvy figure, finding the dress can be a nightmare. I look like a sack of spuds. If she doesn't look like a hippo, yeah, fine. Oh. <laughs> if the bra comes off, they're a trip hazard. Now help is at hand. Deep in the Essex countryside is Britain's most exclusive plus-sized boutique. Step into my office and let's get naked. Oh, I didn't mean us get naked, I meant you get <laughs> naked. Where best friends Joe Cook and Al Law have all the attitude. Look at that booty. <laughs> the experience. We're all in the same boat. Me, Joe, you. And the determination to get even the most body conscious bride walking blissfully down the aisle. Just because you're a big girl does not mean that you have to accept second best ever. This time. I have seven weeks to go and I have no dress. Yes, that is an issue. Can I just say that? Jo and Al are under pressure when a last-minute alternative bride pins all her hopes on an alternative dress. If people think that I am dressed for a funeral, then that is my day perfected. I'm so scared. Don't be frightened of it. A bride who lost her mum still wants her to be part of her special day. What does that say? Always look on the bright side of life. Oh, I like it. that. So, and it sounds cheesy, but it means she's always with me then. For her, it's everything. And two brides... Well, I mean, I know you're nervous, so I'm not going to talk about the what-ifs if it doesn't fit. ...proved to be quite the handful for Jo and Al. You nearly gave me eye out with your boobs. What's going on there, then? <laughs> she could have ate her dinner off her boobs. No, no, kitty cat. Not on this watch. When you're going shopping for a wedding dress, you're not just walking into a high street shop buying something off the rail. When we've got a bride come through the door who's got short time frame, it puts a huge pressure on me and Jo. There's only a few dresses on the rail that are good to go. One bride who doesn't have long until her big day is size 20 Kaylee. I have seven weeks until I get married and I have no dress. I've got four dresses at home that are all from China, that cost me less than £100 each, that are atrocious, <laughs> but I don't want to wear them. She's brought along her bridesmaid, Heather, and has very specific ideas on the type of dress she wants. My heart is set on a black dress. 
if people think that I am dressed for a funeral, then that is my day perfected. How are you feeling today? <sighs> nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I have seven weeks to go and I have no dress. Yes, that is an issue. Can I just say that? Yeah. Well, I've had four dresses. What, bought four dresses? Off the internet, though. Oh, well. So, I've had one traditional in white. Yes. White didn't suit me, so I bought it in ivory. No. And then I fell in love with this gown. It's tool over black. Right, OK. I do actually have a photo of it. Right. <sighs> Let's have a little butcher's. OK. Right. So that's the dream dress? Yes. So why would you not wear it? It just looks cheap. Right. It doesn't make you feel like the bride that you want I to wanted be. I wanted to feel Amazing. beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I am so scared that I will leave here without what I have envisioned in my mind. And the thought of that is terrifying because what am I going to do? Go online and buy another dress? I No, I've got four. So with no time to waste, I'm going to say to you, if you want to take a little seat, I'm going to take you with me and we're going to talk all things dresses, black and not black and China. There can be a huge amount of pressure when a bride pins all their hopes on one particular style of dress. But the thing is with Kaylee, because she knows what she wants and seeing the picture of the dress on the photo, I know she's going to be a very happy girl today because we have that dress. How about something like this? <gasps> yes, that is the dress. This is the original designer dress, not the China copy of the dress. You liking this? Yes. <laughs> Obviously, you weren't expecting... No. <laughs> no, I've looked everywhere. For the research I'd done and the boutiques that could get hold of it, they were all American. So obviously then when Joe pulled it out, I I was like a little kid in school, you know, I was just so happy. <laughs> I would love to have seen her face when you pulled out that dress. That has got to be one of the best reactions to a dress being pulled out ever. She's got to leave here with a dress, she knows that, but it's all about the black dress. There's a lot riding on this dress yes. right now. Next to arrive at the boutique are Tina and Tiff. They're here for their final fitting, ahead of their wedding in just two weeks' time. I love you and want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> Neither bride wants to see the other's dress until they both walk down the aisle. So today, Joe and Al need to make sure they're kept well apart. Usually we only get to meet the bride and have one side of the love story, but it's so nice with Tina and Tiff's wedding. We get to meet both. They each had their first appointment four months ago. It wasn't all plain sailing. How do you feel in it? It's this bit. You look like you've got three ads. <laughs> <laughs> I like the back on the other one a lot better, but I like the front of this one. Oh, you're a tough cookie. I you know, are. I'm sorry. You yeah, make my yeah. job hard for I'm me today, too. But eventually, they both found their dream dress. Is this your dress? Yes. Oh, there no, was, yes. wasn't even a hesitation there. No. Hello, Hello. ladies. How are you doing? Good, thank Good. you. Good. You excited? Nervous. <laughs> nervous? Why are you nervous? Because since the alterations, I've put on a bit of weight, about four or five pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can do that overnight. What are you talking about? That's a lot. It's, no. it's, a, it's the inches. So who's going first? You can go first. Are yeah. they first? You go first. We've both been married before, but this time yeah. it's really about us and what we want, and, and that's what's going to happen. You don't really have to stick to traditions, because it's not <laughs> traditional. <laughs> Hello, what a beauty. Has it been really hard to keep it a secret? It has, and I've been slightly panicking, because you know when you've got it in your head and you've not seen it for ages? Yeah. I kept thinking, oh my God, it's going to be like this huge, poofy. No. It's not that bad. <laughs> when Tina had her first fitting, she felt quite booby. I think she's very, very conscious of that. Maybe a little bit concerned about the boobage. A little bit high. Big no-no about your dress is your boobs being out for everyone to see. Yep. 
vision of beauty. Oh, nearly gave me eye out your boobs. What's going on there then? <laughs> well, I was just having this discussion. I personally feel they're a little bit high. I've gone out and bought like a, a good, supportive, strapless bra. It's a bit of a confidence boost as well, isn't it? Having something on that you know is going to hold them where they should be. Do you want to look first? No. <laughs> you know why? Because your boobs didn't look like that in it before, so they won't look like it okay. again. Oh, no, no, kitty cat. Not on this watch. She could have ate her dinner off her boobs. Whip the bra off and have a little look, see how the girls sit then. OK. Lots of ladies are worried that if they don't wear a bra, are they going to sag? So it's getting that fine line between too much and saggy. I'm just jealous. I've got the motorway running between mine. Yours look great. <laughs> I tell you what, like if the scaffolding weren't on, I'd be treading on my nipples. Yeah, that's a whole <laughs> other show. <laughs> right, so if you want to just lean forward and so they're proper into oh, they're the in. full extent of the car. <laughs> they're, they're in. in. <laughs> right. Yeah. The dress is, I think, really important to me. It's the first impression that Tiff's going to get when she walks in and sees me standing ready waiting for her at the front so it needs to be the right dress to get the right emotion from her <laughs> God, you look amazing right go on then you can open your eyes oh okay oh okay <laughs> look at the smile oh, oh that's okay. relieved okay i think yeah and they're not that yeah they're not on display no trying it on again today it's just confirmed that it was the right dress and hopefully the guests and Tiff are not going to look straight at my boobs. Right, OK, you ready to do this? Yes. Follow me. Kaylee is quite specific in what she wanted. If that dress is not right and it's not everything that she needs it to be, I don't think she'll be able to say, no, it's not right, let's do another. And then you've got to pick up the pieces. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be frightened of it. Why? I want it to be everything that I have pictured. Because she has only got seven weeks till the wedding and she's already bought four dresses off the internet. None of them have looked great. None of them have made her feel great. There's a huge amount of pressure on Kaylee today. If she walks away from here today with no dress, I'm not sure what's going to happen. OK, are we ready? Yes. <laughs> Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I didn't think I'd cry. <sighs> oh, my God. It's beautiful. I can't believe how amazing you look. <laughs> it looked amazing. It looked so much more than what I thought it was going to look. This is everything I dreamed of and more. This is my dress. Yes. <laughs> the one thing I do have to say, and I don't want to be the one to put a spanner in the works, but this dress isn't in the shop yet. I just have to check that you can have it. Oh, oh. yeah, I've checked. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is stuffed. We always work best under pressure. It helps that we've got some fabulous dresses. And you know, when she showed me that dress, it was fate. She was meant to come here and she was meant to get that dress. And she looked amazing. Coming up. What does that say? Always look on the bright side of life. I lost my mum a couple of years ago, so it's like a memorial piece. A bride who wants her late mum to be an important part of her wedding day. It would have been nice to have her here. She's here. Yeah. She's here with you. Definitely. And two brides desperate for each other's approval. I know she wants tears. There's a bit of pressure. <laughs> but a last-minute wardrobe malfunction... Oh, they dropped. That's fine. They're underneath. <laughs> ..means Jo and Al have to bring the calm to keep the wedding day on track. Look how long you've waited. Look how far you've come. Oh. And look where you're about to be. She thinks she'll cry. Yeah. 
You're she's right. told me if I don't cry, she's going to kick me to make me cry. So. Oh. <laughs> Tina is nice and calm. The boobs are under control now, so she can go home and sleep tonight. I think Tiff is a little bit more out of her comfort zone. Well, I mean, I know you're nervous, so I'm not going to talk about the what ifs if it doesn't fit, because we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Stop looking at it like it's your enemy, because it it's really not. isn't. <laughs> I'm really, really nervous that the dress is not going to fit me. In fact, I almost don't want to try it on. <laughs> you just think that we're sitting good at the front. So Tiff, when she first chose her dress, she knew she had to lose a bit of weight because it's such a figure-hugging style of dress in a chiffon. It's not very forgiving. If it's clinging, you're seeing. You are shaking a bit, though, Tiff. Are you really that...? I am, because I've only got two weeks and I, I really like to eat and I don't want to not ha eat I for really, two weeks. I really like to eat. This is the moment of truth, whether or not we need the batter or not. Look at that. Yeah. No butter required today. When I heard the final zoop, um, it was a relief. I, I just, I breathed. <sighs> oh, good. Good choice. Yeah, it was a good choice. What a good choice. <laughs> I think Tina will love the dress. It shows off my curves, which is what she wanted it to do. I think she'll be happy with my choice. Thank you. Aww. You're welcome. They're both brides, they're both gonna look beautiful, but they both want to please the other, and that's lovely, and I think there'll be tears all round on the day. Size 30 Amy is on her way to the boutique, eager to find a dress that shows off a very special tattoo. My chest piece is a memorial piece for my mum. She passed away um, a few years ago now. When I've got this on my chest, I feel like my mum's close to me. So I'm hopefully going to find a dress that um, will show off my tattoo. In the absence of her mum, Amy's brought along cousin Dana and friend Nadine. How are you doing? Yeah, excited. Good. Really Good. excited. What does that say? Always look on the bright side of life. Oh, oh I, I like that. There's a yes. song there. Has it got meaning then? Yeah. Just... Um, I lost my mum a couple of years ago, so it's like a memorial piece and oh. that was her favourite song. I know my mum will be with me in spirit on the day. She'll be looking down and she'll see me in the wedding dress and I know um, she'll be looking at me and just saying just how proud she is of me. Is it about the dress or the tattoos? That's the question. Yeah. I don't want sleeves, uh -huh. so I want to show my tattoos off. When Amy's mum passed away, it was difficult for us all, and especially Amy, because she's a sensitive girl. She wanted something bold so she could look at it every day, so she could remember her mum. When you've got it on, yeah. you'll know. OK. So get stuck in, ladies. Lovely, thank you. When you come to choose a dress and when you get married, it's a bonding thing between mum and daughter. It's really important to her that she has this tattoo on display. For her, it's everything. Oh, I like that one. No, it's a fishtail. There's no favours for the curves. OK, how are we doing, Amy? Oh, this is so hard. I think the best thing to do is get starting because what we will do is when you've got a dress on, we're going to see your body shape in the dress and see okay. what flatters and suits you. OK. And we might pull another. Yeah. Or it might be the one, and it might be, yay, let's go home with my dress. You <laughs> yeah. never know. You never know. OK. Are you happy to get trying? Yeah, excited. <laughs> <laughs> Step into my office. How long ago did you lose your mum, Amy? Um, it's been about three and a half years now. Yeah. So she was quite young. She was only 49, so... Oh my Very God, that's no yeah. age. No, I know. My mum loved butterflies and lilies, and her funeral song was always like on the bright side of life, so. Oh. Yeah. So, and it sounds cheesy, but it means she's always with me then. It would have been nice to have her here. Yeah, definitely. She's here. She's yeah, here with you. Definitely. The sweetheart neckline is perfect to show the tattoo off, so we could be heading in the right direction. I do love my job. I think, uh, yeah, right. I think you might have done good here, Joe. So, when you're all ready, open your eyes. No? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh, I love oh. it. Oh, you look fab. Oh, I love this. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Next, Lash. Oh, 
flush. <laughs> yes. Oh. I think it's perfect the way it is. I don't want to add anything. I don't want to take anything off. It's just it's perfect. You can still see all of my tattoo as yeah. well. I know my mum would be looking over me and just saying just how beautiful that I look um, and just how proud she is of me. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh this is definitely the dress. Oh, yes. Yes. Five. Oh, oh, wow. This dress really, really highlights and shows off Amy's tattoos. It's stunning, beautiful. Today's the day brides Tina and Tiff tie the knot. I'm still nervous to see Tiffany and see what she looks like in a dress. I know she wants tears, so there's a bit of pressure. <laughs> I know if I see her and she's looking confident, then that would make me really happy. To help both women into their dresses, Jo and Al are on hand for what's going to be a very busy day. This is the first time we've dressed two brides. But they do both need the same amount of attention yes. and consideration. Tina has got a great pair of boobs. Oh, she's got a fabulous pair of boobs. She has, but the boobs have to stay inside the dress. Give me some sugar. Mm. When Tiffany came in for a fitting, there was an issue with her weight, but there is not a doubt in my mind that that dress will fit her today like a glove. Mm. How are you feeling? A bit sick. A bit sick? A bit shaky? A bit shaky. Let's get this beauty on. Right, well, I can tell you straight away after getting you dressed. Oh, that just time. slips on yeah. beautifully. We had, a, we had a little bit of a fight with the behind last time. Is it done up, Jo? What, the zip? Yeah, yeah, the zip's done up. I'm just doing the buttons. Yeah, I tell you, you've lost. You've definitely lost weight. Yeah. You look amazing. Right there. Give me some sugar. Yes, you look bloody fabulous, woman. So, 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 so You're welcome. welcome. We'll see you soon. We'll see you there. Later. With Tiff safely into her dress, Jo and Al move to a separate part of the house to help Tina get ready. We're going without the bra. We don't want too much spillage. Oh, they dropped. That's fine. They're underneath. <laughs> no, they're fine. Wait. No, they're, they're, they're fine. Do they feel uncomfortable? Yeah, they're right. right. sort of mat. Hold them up a bit then and I'll pull the dress out. Oh, maybe It's because we don't want this yeah. crease. Yeah. Make sure you're not over the top. You look amazing. Yes, you do. Just keep breathing. Right. If you can do one more tightening at the top. So they are now away, but how are you feeling? Right. Look how long you've waited. Look how far you've come no. and look where you're about to be. Right? Yep. Thank Rock you. It. You've got it. I'm ready to do it. I love you. I don't ever see me being without you. And this just cements it. You are truly my other half, my better half, and I'm proud that after today, I'll be able to call you my wife. <sighs> From this day forward, you will never walk alone. My heart will be your shelter, and my arms will be your home. I think it's beautiful. I love the detailing here, and the back, as you said, is amazing. It's great. You look great in it. <laughs> Really, to lose the straps. I'm really having to stop myself from going. <laughs> but apart from that, she looks amazing anyway. <laughs> there were huge challenges today. You know, it's two brides. So you know what? It was lovely. We wouldn't have had it any other way. <laughs> 